Anyway, there's tons of charming little moments that you can only catch in the video, like Paul's reaction to his own high-pitched trip. But let's focus on the moment in question. So there it is. It's John singing. Case closed, right? Well, not quite. We only see John on camera for the second part of She Loves You. But what about the first part? Of course, given Murphy's Law, at the exact moment that we would have definitively revealed which Beatle starts singing She Loves You, the camera is as far away as possible. And since this is long before high-definition television, we can't really enhance anything either. Ugh. But let's wind back a little bit earlier. I'm going to reveal something that, as a fair warning, you can't unsee. Notice how the man in the purple shirt knocks his sign into the bottom of Paul's vocal mic stand, causing Paul's microphone to swing in John's direction. In response, Paul gets flustered. He flubs a few bass notes, swings his bass up, and tries to kick the mic stand back into position. It doesn't quite work, so instead he grabs it with his hand a second later and pulls it back towards him. That probably explains the we hear a second later. Paul, finally back on track, turns to John, who was already looking back at Paul, probably because of the mic stand chaos from a second earlier, and it looks and sounds like Paul starts to sing, cueing John to join. But suddenly, another guy hits Paul's mic stand again, sending Paul's mic back towards John. So for the second She Loves You, we can only really hear John singing. Why? Because he now has both his and Paul's microphones facing him. So the answer to the mystery is that it's both of them singing. Paul kicks it off, John joins in, and then both of them sing the rest together. But because of the microphone incident, we can only really hear John's part after the first She Loves You. And thanks to the video evidence, the mystery's solved. Oh!